Hey kids, welcome to a lesson 10, building an app, Color Sleuth number four. You try it, make a random color. First, make the base color be a string with random values in it rather than hard coded. Second, add 20 each to the RGB values to make diff color. This means you'll have to insert several lines of code in two different places in your program, just before the variable color and just before variable diff color. Run multiple times to test. Each time you run your program, you should see a randomly chosen color with a randomly chosen button that is slightly different. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code here. We have our code imported from our last lesson, and this basically just picked a random box to change the color. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change both the boxes and which one's random and the color of that box. We have a lot to do. Well, the first thing is we need to set one before our variable color. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna give a couple clicks because we're gonna start organizing our code. So this now comment is set colors for the start. This right here is going to be my variable color generator. And in this one, it's going to go before it because what we want to do is we want to change this RGB value. This color sets the color over here to our background. So we want it to be different. What are we doing? Well, we're going to set a new variable. One is going to be red. Another variable which is going to be green. And our final variable, red, green, blue, for that one. That means when whatever here is called, it will call down here eventually. And we'll take care of that in a second. Our color is gonna be what? Well, it's gonna be a random number. And if you remember from the last one, that number is gonna be between zero and 230 because we're gonna add 20 and anything over 250 to 255 or anything like that, you could never see. So we wanna keep it in the visual spectrum. This is going to be the same for these next couple ones. So I'm just gonna copy and paste them in. So they're all random numbers here. And they all are now going to reference what? Cause it's saying, hey, it's defined, but it's not called. What were we gonna call them? Well, right here, we're gonna replace the red numbers, green numbers, and blue numbers with our variable red, green, blue. Let's just test this. This should make the colors here a random. Run, there we go. So three of the colors are randomly going to different colors. Our other one's orange because we haven't taken care of that one yet. And that's gonna be our next part. So as we run this, this part right here now just sets our random four squares. Let's take care of that single box now. Much like the previous, we have to reassign the variable. Since we've already declared RGB, we don't have to put the word variable. We can just do R, which is now going to equal R plus 20. And then B, same thing. G is going to equal G plus 20. And our B is going to equal B plus 20. What we're doing now when it gets to this point of code is we are reassigning the value and saying, hey, now red, green, or blue is going to add 20 to that. But we're not done yet. We also need to change where we want it to be. And this right here is my random box generator. And this is where I need to change those values. So whatever RGB is, I just want to add 20 to them. So down here, I'm going to substitute our new R, G, B. 
Oop, don't forget your semicolon there. Now when the program runs, our variable color generator will make RGB a random number between 0 and 230. We took 230, so we didn't go over 255 or get close to it, so we can distinguish between the colors. We made that our variable color, RGB, and those are our var variables we just made right there. That then calls the four boxes back there. After that, we have a plus 20, so we're taking that same variable, RGB, and we're adding 20 to it. Then we're saying, hey, display that random box now with those new numbers plus 20 in them. Makes sense how it should work, but let's test it out to make sure. I'm going to hit run. Button 2 is the different one. That looks different to me. Reset run. Button 3, that looks different. So it is all in the same color spectrum, and one of them is slightly different. Let's try one more time. Button 2, there we go. So looking back up here, we did change our hard-coded string color. We added 20 to the RGB, and we updated the calls in both variable color and variable diff color. I think that's all code.org wants, and I think our code looks pretty good. Let's see if they agree. Hey, good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.